We're in Duke's archives on the very familiar staircase after we had exited a cell uh, after we died to Seath the Scaleless. Uh, and you might be thinking, well, what could possibly be interesting about the staircase? Well, what if I told you there was a different version of the staircase completely? Hidden in the files. Not really hidden in the files, but sitting there, unused. And I stumbled upon them incredibly randomly on one of my streams. And we're going to walk around on that. I'm going to show you that. So let me log out. And let's go to DS Map Studio. Where you can see we are in Duke's archives. And we zoom out. And let's zoom all the way in. And this is the same room that we were just in. And what if I told you I was going to delete the staircase? What if I changed one number and I materialize an entirely different staircase out of thin air that's just sitting in the files? And what if I hit, what if I hit save and I now copy those changes into my game and then we run around on this different version of the staircase that is going to look weird in the game it's going to look weird because it's i can tell that er it's early enough in development that it didn't even get a light map so it doesn't match up with the rest of the environment but you'll find it interesting that by loading it it loads perfectly fine and the collision is mostly correct. Your character clips through a little bit of it, but you'll see that the railing is different. They changed the railing in the final version to have this sort of metallic, like, little spear spike fence thing instead of using this uh, normal texture that gets reused through all of Duke's archives. Uh, but you'll notice it also has this tile that is used elsewhere in Duke's archives. And the staircase texture, uh, the actual stairs themselves, thats these are all textures that are used throughout Duke's archives, uh, but then don't get used much at all. Although you'll see the difference is the wall texture there has a light map on it. And you'll see on the staircase, that's why it's showing up very oddly, is it's not using a light map at all. They didn't even generate one for this because it's one giant map piece where the other ones were about I want to say five or six separate little puzzle pieces that fit together. And I think the most interesting thing about this little hidden staircase that's in the files is actually the top of it. Um, because other than that, it works very much the same. It even comes with books uh, like the other staircase pieces have. And I wonder if they were doing this because they thought that the other staircase matched up better to the cells, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, we obviously don't really have a good way of knowing, um, although you can actually see that it doesn't line up with the collision that the car the enemy is on. Um, but let's head up to the top, because that's where something is a little bit more interesting uh, than just the fact that there is a hidden staircase. Um, so let's go up the ladder, and it's something that's kind of weird to me. So once we get to the top... This giant staircase model actually includes this balcony. And you can see that's why it's glitching, because it's actually loading both. It included this room. Um, but the big difference is the archway. So in the hidden map file, it uses this more angular archway, where the in the released game, we get that more rounded. Uh, and then on the inside here, you'll notice that we have the more angular archway. And once again, that is the actual archway that we end up having throughout the rest of Duke's archives. It matches with the cut map piece that's in the files. And I just find that odd. Yeah, sorry for the epilepsy warning. That is, that is, that is my bad. Um, let's go back into DS Map Studio. And we can get a better look at it. And if we delete this, uh, you will see that, yeah, we actually get the more angular archway that matches what the next room has anyway. Not only that, uh, let's delete the, uh, let's delete this. So the actual room that is up here uh, has the tile 
of the cut map piece and the archway of the cut map piece. So you wonder why they moved away from that. Uh, and this is actually the balcony that they end up using. And you wonder if that was inspired by the actual balcony that they had inside here and the different like railings. I guess railings is what I meant there. And so I just find it interesting that this staircase actually matches up better with the room that we end up going into anyway. Uh, archway and floor and the wall. And so I don't know. I, I wonder if they just wanted to separate this into a completely different looking area because it does look different than the rest of Duke's archives. And maybe that may, means that like it felt more separated. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this very tiny, quick smaller, shorter video than I normally do, but I wanted to show people um, just an interesting find. And let's put the old staircase back uh, because it might be really awkward if I don't have that in the game. And let's save that back because if I don't put that back in my game, I'll release a new version of the mod and it will break it for everybody. Actually, it'll just have that really weird map piece. But thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.